what I want to do here is show you how an Easy Lube hub works. So what we have is a little Zerk fitting right there, and then back here is a hole that's drilled into the spindle, and that is, sits at the very back side of the inner bearing. And then you can see here, this is where the inner seal rides. So what I'll do is install my inner bearing. So right there is that hole that the grease travels through. So what I'm gonna do is get my grease gun, hook it up to the end of the spindle and shoot some grease in there. What Dexter recommends in their instruction manual for the proper way to use these easy lube hubs is to rotate the tire with the trailer up off the ground while you're shooting some grease into that fitting. But as you can see, that's old grease that's in that uh, spindle. And I will throw some pictures up of a trailer that I bought about eight years ago where the previous owner had never taken the bearings and wheels and everything apart to re-grease them. All he had ever done was shot grease into the Easy Lube fitting. And when I bought the trailer, the first thing I did as I was leaving his driveway was applied the manual trailer brake to see what kind of adjustment I would need. I ended up having to dial the brakes all the way up to the highest setting on the integrated brake controller on my Chevy truck, and I still had very little braking. So first thing I did, which I had intended to do when I got home anyway, was to repack the bearings. Well, the pictures show that his process of just shooting grease in every year completely wrecked the brakes. And this has long since been my belief about these Easy Lube hubs. And this video does a pretty good job of showing that. And that is that the, the grease takes the path of least resistance. I'm having issues with my grease gun here. It's got an air pocket in it. But as you can see, I'm shooting grease in there. and I have yet to see any evidence of grease coming back through here. Now I might be able to do this while I'm rotating the bearing. So as I'm shooting grease in and rotating the bearing, this would simulate rotating your wheel. There is no evidence of any grease coming through here. Eventually, as you filled the cavity between the bearing and the inner seal, that will create some pressure that hopefully will drive some of that grease back through here or through the bearing. But with the grease taking the path of least resistance, I believe that eventually it's going to blow out the inner seal just like it did on the trailer that I purchased about eight years ago. So after I've cleaned that grease off, let's try this some more. And the issue here is that that hole is covered up partially by the inner surface of this bearing. So very little grease can make its way into this, into the cavity of the hub to then work its way to the out, outer bearing. <laughs> 